What up, YouTubers? This is Faith. Haven't done a video in a while. Haven't had much to video because uh, I pretty much bought everything that I need. So um, today is December 27, two days after Christmas, um, 26 weeks and three days. Um, definitely have a stomach now, like it's crazy. Um, not a lot of real symptoms of frequent urination aside from that. Um, no back pain, no nausea, vomiting. Nothing like that. So it's been pretty much a cakewalk. Um, I think I've been sick maybe twice, like with the cold kind of thing. Um, I have felt, I definitely feel the baby kicking like ridiculous. It's pretty cool. Um, so this video is uh, what to pack in your um, hospital bag. So you have, well I actually have two, two bags. This is my um, hospital bag for me. And this is my hospital bag, which is a diaper bag for baby Jaden. So I'm going to start with my bag first. Um, definitely have to bring the boppy pillow. Um, so I have the pillow still in its container since I haven't opened it or anything. Definitely going to need chargers. So this is a charger for my BlackBerry. This is a charger for my iPhone slash iTouch, whatever. Um, so make sure you have chargers. These are extra ones, so I'm going to pack them now. Um, this way I have them in there in case I don't forget. I'm also going to try to remember to bring my hospital ID so in case I need to order food, they can put it onto my payroll deduction, whatever. Um, so I've got to try to remember to bring my ID as well as keys and all that stuff. Um, in the next couple weeks, because I'm only 26 weeks I know it's kind of crazy to have this bag already packed um, but I did because like I said I'm kind of psychotic and I have everything ready um, so also uh, maxi pads um, is important so I got these with wings and they're like you know maximum protection with league guard whatever um, I didn't get it on sale or anything I was in New York because I went to go see my mom for the holidays so I just stopped at like the local Rite Aid in New York to get that um, so I have this bag packed two different ways um, this is all my um, uh, amenities I guess you would call it I love H2O because it smells really good I haven't been using this stuff uh, recently because it kind of dries out my skin because it's got a lot of perfumes in it but this is like my favorite so I got the raspberry guava um, and you can go to the store that's in Manhattan or you can buy H2O stuff online it smells delicious and this is the raspberry guava um, lotion so I have the lotion and then I have like a face cream definitely have chapstick which is important um, I have a travel toothbrush and toothpaste and mouthwash um, I definitely have Purell which is this is like the bootleg version from the dollar store but anyway Anyway, hand sanitizer especially when the baby's born uh, you know just to be like oh could you put a little bit on your hands before you touch my kid um, dental floss of course which is like I can't live without um, and as well as deodorant and I bought the um, Medela uh, lanolin because I heard you know I'm definitely gonna be trying to practice the uh, nursing as ASAP so I got some of that to help with the sore nipples that I'm anticipating um, I also bought some Tender Care Hydro Gel. This is like instant relief for sore nipples, cools on contact, um, and they're also reusable. So I brought those just in case. And I also bought some nursing pads. I didn't bring very many. This was like a sample that came in like the uh, Target uh, baby registry. But uh, this comes with two individually wrapped nursing pads, whatever. So I may bring a couple, but you know, I think if you're having a C-section, you're in the hospital for four days. And if you're having a regular baby, I think, you know, non-C-section, it's going to be like two or three days. So I think I should be fine. And I think they'll have some stuff there. So that's my amenities. And also like eyeliner, um, I'm going to, you know, pack later. Um, probably waterproof because I love wings. Um, on the eyes. So I don't do very much makeup. So that's as far as I want to go with that. Um, now on the other side, I think is like some more, oh, these are my, this is like my snack side of my bag. So I've, yeah, I've already packed snacks, which I've already eaten a box, but anyway, um, I have some Mike and Ike's. We'll see how long this will last in here, but, um, I got some Mike and Ike's, some lemon heads, some ring pops, just in case I have an urge for some hard candy. I definitely try to keep my breath fresh because I'm too lazy to get up and brush the teeth. I got some double mint gum, so that's going to be my um, my stash for snacks. I'll probably put some little Gatorades in there, and um, I had some like caramel squares, but I totally ate those before it was uh, you know before I like once I knew they were in there. So 
uh, kind of failed on that. So now this is kind of more the important stuff. Um, totally went to Walmart to get these supplies, but basically what I bought was some flannel um, pajamas. Uh, these are like some flannel PJs. They were five bucks, like four ninety seven. So I got some black ones with red, even though it was, the baby's going to be born in March, but I'm sure the hospital's going to be cold. Um, and then I bought a warm up suit, which matches a little bit to what the baby's going to be wearing home. So um, I definitely got a warm up suit because I'll be comfortable in that. Um, I got it from, it's a Danskin maternity tracksuit. So it's uh, charcoal gray, and I got the pants. And um, again, it's a maternity one, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, and I definitely want to be comfortable and stylish. The only thing I haven't put in there are the um, pants. I mean, the uh, sneakers. So I'm probably going to buy new sneakers. But um, I got some slipper socks also from um, from Walmart. And these were like 5 bucks also. So those are brand new slipper socks that are in here. I bought a big uh, black robe, um, you know, because it's going to be cold in the hospital so with the pants I'll have a robe um, my shirts I kind of got also they were like ten dollars each um, from Walmart and they're the maternity um, kind of camisole or whatever you call these tankinis whatever um, I got one in black and one in gray um, and it'll be easy to nurse so with that and the pants I should be warm enough the socks and then I can also put on the robe in case I need to to do uh, anything else. I'm probably going to get another pair of pajamas. I think two will be fine. And I got two of those shirts, one in black and one in gray. Um, and again, these are maternity ones, so they're a little bit softer. Um, and I also did bring um, the nursing bras. And that's one of the nursing bras in white. And then the other nursing bra is in here somewhere. It's black. And this is the one that has like little holes for the pump which you can't see but that's a hole right there um for you know for pumping and stuff it's kind of like a um camisole thing so that's pretty much it for me um so that's pretty much all i have in there oh also uh some throwaway underwear or some underwear that you don't care about um so you know they give you kind of like mesh underwear um there but this is my go home um, outfit. These are the nursing bras. These are some kind of like goes with the pajamas. I got some slipper socks. Again, I got the robe. Um, this is my going home outfit. I'll probably wear like the gray shirt with this. Um, and then I got some pajama pants. So I'm probably going to buy another pair of pants. You know, just have two pajama bottoms. Definitely have my robe. Uh, uh, some amenities, chargers, definitely bring your phone, all that good stuff. So that's my stuff. So again, I'm wearing this charcoal gray Danskin maternity warm-up suit. Um, and now for what I packed for baby Jaden in his bag. So what I have in here, I'm just trying to see if there's anything on the outside. I don't think I have anything on the outside. Nope. All right. So we're going to go right onto the inside and then I have to repack all this stuff. Um, Again, I'm, I'm so cheesy, so I'm going to kind of match with Jaden. So um, I bought one toy for him, which is like, you know, he's not going to be able to pick up anything. But it's a little lovey. Um, you know, it's like a blankie. So I got that. Now, this is his outfit to go home. So he's got a little warm-up suit uh, that he's going to wear, a little hoodie. So it's like gray, uh, gray track suit. There you go with the hoodie. These are the pants that go with it. And um, the onesie, which you have to be careful with the onesies because they have their umbilical cord. Um, and I brought some extra onesies just in case poop happens. Um, and I got some gray mittens, hand mittens to match. Um, you know, and I brought some extra ones and I bought some socks too. Um, again, he's doing March. Got some hats to keep him warm. The I Love Mommy. Um, the onesie that's going to go with the outfit is this one. That goes with his track suit. So that's his take home outfit. Um, I bought a blanket that's probably going to go in the stroller. Um, also, I bought, um, you know, some portable wipes, some, you know, uh, wipes. Um, I can't remember what else is in here, but, you know, things that I'm going to need for him. Uh, yeah, definitely some wipes. Oh, some diapers, uh, just in case there's a mess before we get home. And I'll probably go down to the emergency room uh, before I leave the hospital to say hi to my coworkers. Um, so then this is the uh, blanket. It's a swaddler. So it's a swaddle 
and sleep sack. Um, so it's like a wearable blanket. So I brought that just in case. I don't know what their policy is about them wearing clothes while they're still in the hospital. I would probably stick with keeping them in whatever the hospital issued stuff is because, you know, in case it's easier for them to steal a kid if they're in regular clothes. So I would stick with whatever hospital garb um, that they have until it's time for them to go home. Definitely brought some bibs, um, some other blankets so I can swaddle them in. Um, I'm not sure what I'll need of these. Definitely got some burp bibs um again bib crazy because you know kids spit up and all that um some burp cloths there um that's his other stuff and i bought a pacifier which i'm sure i'm not going to go that crazy early with the pacifiers but i brought the zero to three month one that i got um you know just in case i do need them but you know i kind of want him to stick with the uh, nursing for now so i don't think i'm going to do the pacifier just yet but I brought them because I wasn't really sure and then I did bring a bottle so this way if I'm pumping um, I have a bottle with me um, you know to feed him with um, in case he doesn't take to um, nursing right away and I'm sure they'll have bottles there but I wanted to bring that just in case so that's Jaden stuff so I have burp cloths bibs blankets um, one toy oh I'm definitely bringing books and magazines stuff um and then i have his blankets um take home a couple extra onesies his take home outfit which is this gray one some socks a hat and some gloves um swaddle blanket and um again my clothes and then uh bobby pillow and all that good stuff so i kept this video at exactly 12 minutes if you want me to list everything let me know now this is uh based off of zero experience never had a kid before so this is from me watching other youtube videos thinking about what you should have um so maybe i'll do a follow-up video and be like i totally didn't need that you know whatever if there's anything you think of that i should need let me know too so um that's my what to pack for the hospital and baby done